Hey, joining us now on the Mar Army Rock Show, I'm uh, really excited to have J.D. from Failure Anthem with us. I first caught these guys at it, Shiley Bakers, a few weeks ago, and they are tearing up the tour circuit right now. J.D., welcome to the show. Hey, how you doing today, man? Hey, man, thanks for being here. And, uh, hey, I was really impressed with you guys when I saw you out in West Virginia up at Shiley. And uh, for folks that have, we're seeing you for the very first time, give us a little bit of the, of the history and the background of Failure Anthem. Uh, the band started back in, you know, pretty much like in the 2013, uh, kind of started putting the band together. So a longtime friend, uh, Kyle Adele and the other members were just, uh, both doing really well, just kind of all came together naturally and started writing good music together. Um, I know this is probably the first time I ever once saw us out there at Shiley as well as yourself. Uh, it was a good time. And I think, uh, kind of like for the future, we just can't keep on pushing. But people are worried about it. Yeah, man, we had a great time seeing you out there. And, uh, man, uh, when, when I had heard your song, Paralyzed, but I had no idea when I looked at it that it had 120,000 views. Tell us a little bit about what that song has done for a failure anthem. Well, I feel like the, the song, Paralyzed, has really uh, kind of done a lot for the band. It's a great debut single. Um, it's still great on um, you know, the Internet as well as like YouTube and FIFA, as you can see. Um, we feel like it's a good song in our set and really kind of sets the pace in the middle of the set. We're kind of glad everyone's liking it. It's now, uh, watching all the music, around. Yeah, man, watching the music video of that, I know you're a North Carolina band. Now, all those scenes with, like, the train tracks and all that, was that done in North Carolina, or where did you shoot that thing? Yeah, that was done in uh, more of the uh, industrial kind of warehouse district of uh, Greensboro, North Carolina, kind of near the downtown area. Uh, the train tracks that was kind of near, right about downtown, kind of, kind of a historic area. Now, um, I know that you guys are out right now. I believe you're on the Texas Hippie Coalition. Is that correct? Yeah, we're on the uh, road right now. Actually, on the back roads headed to Shreveport, Louisiana. Um, actually, originally where I'm from, the state of Louisiana. So, it's kind of exciting. We played off the Texas last night. Really good turnout in downtown Austin at the Dirty Dog Bar. Um, a lot of fun. Been a really great run with the Coalition. Great bunch of guys. Now, you got another big run of dates you guys just put up. Why don't you tell folks about the uh, tour you're going to be doing after this uh, Texas Hippie Coalition run? So we're going to be going out with uh, All the Remains in November along with uh, Emir and uh, We Came as Romans. And it's also... Uh, our label mates, Rough Sun Rising, is going to be you know, doing the first leg of that tour. We're doing the last leg of the tour. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. We're looking forward to the tour days. There's a lot of great uh, venues we'll be getting to play. But they make a lot of new fans. Now, I saw that um, once in a while you guys, uh, or at least one acoustic show you guys had. Is that something that you just throw into the mix every once in a blue moon, or do you work um, regularly on an acoustic set? Uh, we actually have a acoustic set kind of down. Uh, we just we did that show, the uh, show that we put the, the Wizard Saloon at Nickery, North Carolina, and uh, we were asked to do it. So I definitely love playing acoustic. Really what's the, big, acoustic what's the big, biggest challenge with translating into acoustic from, for your guys' music? I used to want to, I feel like when you strip down the song, if you do that in position, it really shows a lot about the song. It gives you the you know, song, and it's like, I guess, uh, simplest form is that you can really kind of hear the depth of it. I mean, it's important to me to kind of showcase that as an artist, show that you can do that, because a lot of artists, you know, don't do it anymore. Like, you see a lot of people playing on stage. It's great, but it's good to see a band in that form. It really shows a lot. So, um, it, I, the, where I can tell, the album that's coming out soon is called First World Problem. Is that still the, the working title to that record? Yes, it is. Uh, it's going to be a title, First World Problem. So we're hoping to get the, uh, you know, we're still locking down the uh, album release date, hopefully the first quarter of the year. When we're shooting for, we really haven't heard anything installed yet, but we'll uh, keep you updated. Now, I look at your guys' dates, and it's kind of cool. You guys have really hit the festival circuit hard and played a ton of big-time festivals. Has there been one that kind of stood out so far as your big wow moment on all those big festival stages? 
Uh, I think we had a lot of fun doing, you know, hey, Will Rock Fest is great. Uh, we really enjoyed doing Carolina Rebellion. Uh, that was really fun. I mean, did the yeah, we opened the whole festival. It was great playing with such uh, bands like Slipknot and you know, God's Back. You know, just a wonderful experience to share the stage with all like that. But that was kind of a, a good experience for everybody in the band. It's always fun to yeah. people you enjoy listening to. Now, do you have to change up the way you prepare for a festival? Like, in other words, do you do the same kind of pre show stuff you do when you're playing a you know, a huge festival like Will Rock Fest or uh, just a small club show, do you, do you prepare differently? Well, I wouldn't say you would prepare differently. I would say that you uh, kind of us, you know, the family, we kind of take every show serious because we want to deliver a good experience to our fans no matter what the venue, even if it's a small five people at a club, we're going to still play the same as we would for, you know, that's out. Uh, we kind of try to always look for some kind of experience in our band. Hey, man, it looks to me like uh, I, there might be some, like, uh, close ties between our good friends uh, in Bad Seed Rising and you guys. Do you guys have a, a kind of a working relationship with them at all? Uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty close friends of ours. Uh, our assistant manager, uh, Scott Musselon, his, his son plays drums for Bad Seed Rising. He also manages them, and our main manager, Larry Mazur, he also managed to pain manager, so so yeah, there is a family tie there, I would say. <laughs> uh, Scott's been a good friend of this show for a long time, and uh, saw Bad Feet Rising at their very first show, so I was glad to see that relationship. So uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, so yeah. so what's the biggest thing you want to um, tell people about your band coming up in the fall? Is it go see a live show? Is it wait for the record to come out? What's what's the biggest news for you guys as we move into the fall? I think the biggest thing for us is uh, everybody keeps coming to the shows. And- watching our uh, music and listening to it. Uh, the biggest thing is uh, we promise that our album is coming out soon. Just uh, everybody stay patient and we promise it's going to be uh, worth the wait. Keep watching that video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it's a very cool video and I hope people keep hitting that up. And uh, Hey, man, I had a great time seeing you for the first time live, which is what prompted me to uh, have you on the show. So you're a great live fan. And uh, we look forward to seeing what comes out in the studio with First World Problems. So, um, awesome. JD from yeah, man, JD from Failure Anthem uh, on the way on the road tonight as we speak somewhere in Louisiana. <laughs> so, JD, be safe out there, man. I will. I will. Hey, thanks for calling in on the show tonight. All right, appreciate you, man. Y'all have a good day. <laughs>